been an emotional week. Slowly repairing and recovering everything on the first floor. You can see we're still doing cleanup efforts. <laughs> that fridge floated. It was over there. It floated over here. It's probably destroyed. You can see our neighbors are. <laughs> it's just crazy out here. That's okay. We control what we can. I was able to fix the pool today. Able to fix two of the garage doors today. Got one more. So I think I'm gonna take a break from fixing and cleaning and work on something that makes me happy. So I'm gonna begin the repair of my golf cart. <laughs> so first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna label the batteries, take a picture of the layout and remove them so I can clean the batteries. So I'll show you what I got going on here so you can see. I went around and put a little number on each battery. I'm documenting the order that are here. I have all those cables attached together. I got all these cables attached together so I know what went where. I'm just gonna disconnect all the cables. And that was crazy, you can see, I think salt water didn't get in. I feel pretty good about it because of my watering system. I sprayed some battery cleaner and I didn't see it change color like there was battery acid and the, the batteries are testing are testing good. What's crazy is that's the battery bolt. It's supposed to look like that. <laughs> the bolt that goes on to hold the battery cables in place. So when the salt water hit the batteries, it arced between the positive and negative and just melted these. You can see many of them are starting to, are kind of already started the process. Some are further along than others. Some aren't that bad. So. I got new ones. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all these cables, remove these bolt covers, take these batteries out and clean them really well. All right, let's start cleaning and testing batteries. Ohm meter, battery cleaner, anti-corrosion, distilled water, brushes, water remover, the 3040, some more brushes. So um, what's nice, I got the Trojan HydroLink installed. And it makes all this up here watertight. So what I can check now is that the water I have in here doesn't have any rust in it. So I'll suck some out. And if it's rust free, no salt got in there. Suck a little bit up. And it's rust free. It's clear. Clear water. So that's good water. I'll check all four cells. All four tested clean, rust free. So I'm gonna start. Cleaning, I'll put this thing back. You can see the seals, the rubber seals it has, which makes this a really nice application. Put this back in place so I can protect it and clean it. You know, I like this because it turns colors if it acid hits it. So I can spray a little bit on here. It turns pink if it sees acid. And you see it's just yellow. Put a pink, that's for I spilled it just now, actually. So give me an idea of how the acid looks like. I just spilled some just to it now. I'm gonna spray a little bit here. Just kind of give it a once over. Let it soak for a second. And then I'm going to brush and start scrubbing the terminals. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to start cleaning this off. Get the muck and guck off it. Get it nice clean. Get it nice and clean. Just using the the, the plastic brush right now. But you see the stuff's just just road dirt really. Clean this off. And then I'm gonna use steel brush to clean these off. Again, you don't let anything the salt water might have done to this. Clean it off. And I'll finish up with a gold brush or copper. You can see the top of that we got <laughs> an arced <laughs> battery might be drained. We can test the voltage, but from the arcing, but we'll see. Got it nice and cleaned off using our brushes. I've got a analog voltometer or ohmmeter. If you ever see one of these, I got a set of 12 volts. If it goes from zero all the way up to 12 right there. I'm gonna put it on the terminal, and you'll see we're getting eight volts. 
This battery survived being submerged in salt water thanks to the hydrolink. Very nice. This one's good to go. If you're having trouble, if you're having trouble getting down like in the nooks and crannies, you can distill water and just kind of flush it out. And dry it off. Six clean eight volt batteries, all tested eight volts. All did not have any sign of penetration into the cells. They're all very, very clean now, as you can see. Look at this new. So, that's all for today's video. Just cleaning and checking batteries, how to, how to do that for lead acid batteries, and sing the praise of the Trojan uh, Hydrolink system for waterproofing the batteries with salt water, even. Our next project is we're going to replace the battery tray. See how nasty and rusty it got. And now the battery is out of the way, we can easily test the motor as well. Uh, we can see if it survived the water. Uh, it's a very easy test. We'll do that in another video. Hopefully, we don't need to replace it. That's a really nice motor. <laughs> the 30 mile per hour motor. Okay. That's our next video right there.